Hello there and welcome to Music Lessons with Tony Valley. Today we're going to be working on a Jimi Hendrix song, The Wind Cries Mary. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on the intro to the song. I'll play it through for you first and then we'll break it down. All right, a lot of stuff going on right there, but let's take it slow and we'll start off right with the first chord. First chord is going to be an E flat five, okay? What you're going to do is basically, especially like a power chord, but you're going to have your first finger barred over another string. Okay. First off, put your first finger on the sixth string, sixth fret. All right. And that first finger is also going to cover the fifth string, sixth fret. Now your third finger is going to land on the fourth string, eighth fret. And your fourth finger is going to land on the eighth fret third string, okay? Now if you hear this, you're only hitting the sixth, fifth, fourth, and third string when you're pressing down, okay? So play that once, and all you're gonna do to get the next chord is you're gonna slide up to the seventh fret. Now right there, that becomes an E5. And now you're gonna move that same chord up to the eighth fret, and it becomes an F5. So let's take it again. Make sure your first finger, you can cover over the fourth and third string too with that first finger. You don't necessarily have to just cover those two strings, the sixth and fifth. So you can just cover over because your third and fourth finger are covering the third and fourth string on that eighth fret. So just play it again like that. Okay, now the next part, we're gonna move over to your first finger being on the eighth fret. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover over the fifth, fourth, and third string, okay? Just to kind of keep it there, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hammer on your third finger to the 10th fret on the fifth string. So it's gonna... That's the first one, okay? That right there is an E5 with a G in the bass. E flat five with a G in the bass there. Okay, so best thing to do is cover the first finger over the fifth, fourth and third string on the eighth fret and hammer with your third onto the 10th fret, fifth string. If you have trouble doing the hammer on, you can practice putting your first finger on the eighth fret, fifth string and hammering your third finger onto the 10th fret, fifth string, just going. as a practice. Now this moves up, this is gonna go Okay, you're gonna be moving from the eighth fret, ninth to the tenth. Your hammer on is gonna be going eight to 10, nine to 11, 10 to 12. But what you wanna do is you wanna get it together. And those chords right there, that's gonna be an E flat with a G in the bass to an E flat, actually an E with a G sharp in the bass. Then you've got an F with an A in the bass. Okay, that's that A right there. So again. All right, let's take it from the beginning. Okay, now that just repeats. So you're gonna do that twice, so. Practice those hammer-ons if you need. And then add in the... Especially when you're doing that hammer-on, make sure when you're hammering on, you're hitting the strings at the same time. You're... Right after you hit that hammer-on, you're then gonna hit the fourth and third string. So notice how in my picking hand, I'm going... 
same motion right there. So practice that really slow. Practice maybe even going like that, just to get that, and then to get that motion, okay? Because you got to do it all at the same time. Okay? All right, the last part of that, what you're going to do is you're going to put your first finger on the 10th fret, 5th string, and you're then going to use your third finger to strike the 12th fret, 5th string. And what you're going to do is you're going to go, all right? So after coming out of this last one, you're going to go 10, 10, 12 hammer on. So again, 10 fret, 5th string, and then you're going to strike your third finger onto the 12th fret, but it's a hammer on. Okay? Then you're going to put your first finger over to the 4th string, 10th fret, and then to your 12th fret, 4th string, then back to your 10th fret, 4th string, and then you're going to put your 3rd finger onto the 12th fret, 5th string, and you're going to slide down. So that last, last part's going to go... That's more like it right there. Okay, so let's take it again, right from the beginning, really slow. That's the intro part right there. Take those chords really slow and make sure to write them down if you'd like. Actually, you'd be probably better off if you did that. Write them down so you can memorize the names of the chords as you're playing them. And just do it really slow and then listen to the song to get the actual speed and the feeling of it. Okay, because when he's playing, he's like... You're going to hear him hitting the strings on there. So just take a listen to it. And if you have any questions about this lesson, please feel free to email me at TonyValley at TonyValley.com. We'll see you for our next one.